In this section, we're going to study the basic biology of cells. Cells are the basic unit of life, with a single cell being capable of performing all the tasks necessary to stay alive. More importantly, all the processes that living beings carry out occur inside of cells, even in multicellular organisms. The implications that cells have for the functioning of living organisms has been compiled under the cell theory. Cell theory states that all living organisms are composed of at least one cell. Cells are the basic unit of life and they are the smallest living things. And finally, cells can only arise by the division of another cell. A cell comes from another cell. The size of cells, however, is geometrically limited. If we model a cell as a sphere, the surface of the sphere is a constant multiplied by the square of the radius. So you can see here, it's constant and the square of the radius. The volume of the sphere is a constant multiplied by the cube of the radius this time. That means that when the radius increases, the volume of the sphere increases faster than its surface. So for example here, if we think that the small cell we assume has a radius of one unit, the small cell, and the large cell has a radius of 10 units, the surface area of the small cell, this one here, and then the surface area of the large cell will be a hundred times that of the small cell. When we compare the volume of the small cell to the volume of the large cell, this is the small cell, the large cell has a volume that is a thousand times larger than the volume of the small cell. So this means that the volume of the large cell is proportionally greater in, to the small cell than what the surface of the large cell is in proportion to the small cell. Now if we calculate the ratio for each cell of its surface, this surface area to its volume, so we divide this number, the surface area, by the volume of the cell, we have that the small cell has a surface area to volume ratio of 3 units, while the large cell has a much smaller surface area to volume ratio of just 0.3. And this has great implications for the functioning of the cell. As cells get larger and the surface area to volume ratio decreases, the efficiency of the cell is greatly reduced. And this is because Cells, as you know, perform most of their activities through their surface, through the cell membrane. They need to uptake nutrients from the environment, they need to remove waste, they need to communicate with other cells or communicate with the external environment, and they do all these things through their cellular membrane. So if they reduce their surface area as to volume as they get larger, substances will have to travel longer distances to either enter the cell from the outside environment or exit waste that, waste that need to exit the cell will have to travel longer distance before they can exit the cell. And this will reduce the efficiency of the cell and will also call this, cost the cell more energy. This is why we don't see exceedingly large cells. They are constrained by the surface to volume ratio.